Welcome to Vote for the Environment. At the David Suzuki Foundation, we believe that the health of our environment and the vitality of our democracy go hand in hand. Yet because we tend to be pretty cynical about politics these days, we sometimes forget this, just as we sometimes forget what real democracy demands of us all, as well as our elected representatives. When the idea was first suggested by early Enlightenment thinkers, the entire notion of democracy seemed crazy. What was proposed was that common people using common sense need not be ruled by kings and aristocrats, but could actually govern themselves. This revolutionary idea had implications that clearly went beyond holding periodic elections and the simple act of voting. Democracy required that common people, now elevated to citizens, become involved and actively engaged in public life and politics. This was, and is, necessary because only through this engagement could citizens hold their elected representatives accountable. So the most important part of the idea of democracy was that governments weren't sovereign, the people were. You know, it wasn't that long ago that women, First Nations, African Canadians and Asians couldn't vote in Canada. My parents were born and raised in Canada, but couldn't vote until after World War II, so I know how precious it is to be able to vote. These days a lot of people, but especially the young, aren't voting, but decisions made now will reverberate through the entire lives of today's young people. On October 14th of this year, Canadians will go to the polls, and who we choose can have historic consequences for our country and for the environment for generations to come. As I travel throughout this land, it's absolutely clear to me that Canadians are far more aware of the urgency to act on the environment than our elected representatives. Even in the face of growing economic anxieties and concerns about rising fuel prices, Canadians continually and consistently place the environment among their top three concerns facing the country. My greatest fear in this election is not that one candidate or one party will win over the other. My nightmare is that the issue of the environment will be ignored in this election and that concerns about our planet will be drowned out by the name-calling and political posturing that have come to mark Canadian campaigns. If that happens, if we fail to force a focus on the environment, the message to the next government, regardless of which party prevails, will be a mandate for more inaction. We can't let that happen. We don't have the time or the luxury. And to make sure this doesn't happen, what we do between now and October 14th will be as important as what we do on October 14th. Between now and Election Day, we have to put all candidates' feet to the fire. We have to show them that we will not accept future inaction as an answer. We will demand that they address our environmental concerns, that they represent us. We can show them that through our concerns, we constitute our own nation. And if we speak as a nation, our views will be heard, and this vital issue will not be ignored. It will be engaged because it will be clear that we are engaged. So that's what we're trying to do with Vote for the Environment. We invite you to consider this to be your meeting place over the campaign, to blog and offer your views on the election, media coverage, the leaders and candidates in your local area. Send us your videos where you speak directly to those who are vying for office and tell them what they have to do to get your support. Pass along your cell phone numbers and we'll put you on our list to receive text messages and alerts about election news and events. Visit our chat rooms and help us develop environmental policy that we will forward to all parties' headquarters. If we get enough of you engaging in this activity, the candidates will notice, and if they notice, trust me, they will respond. And then it's up to you to decide how to vote. 
We won't tell you. That's not our place. We just ask you to vote for the environment. Thank you for your time.